Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with one of the latest enclosures for dual SSDs NVMe from Sabren. And we are back. So you already have seen some images that I took, unboxing and so on and so forth. But I would like to share my opinion, my experience with this great piece of technology that it's here on my hands. And I've got the pleasure to test it out and the privilege to test it out and share my opinion with you. And we will do some speed test right over here on the screen so that you guys can check it out. But spoiler alert, when we test out SSDs from Sabrent and we are talking about the fastest one on the planet right now, I will leave a link right over here. We are talking about 7,000 megabytes per second on reads and on writes, which is just crazy. And by the way, here it is, the Sabrent Rocket 4 plus so if you're looking for the fastest ssd on the market then it's easy just go right over here and we'll check it out now that being said one of the things that i would like to mention is that although i've done review and i've tested quite a few uh, products from sabrent one of the things that they all have in common is the build quality i haven't had the pleasure to try out another brand that it's so top of the line with their products and I'll give you my opinion in just a few moments. But one of the things that I would like to remember is that if you are looking for something more portable and lower cost, but the thing that has in common is build quality. If you don't recall my review on this one right over here, then the link will be right over here. You can check it out and it's a different price. It's a different audience, but total portability. But the build quality is just awesome out of the charts is top of the line and this is the message that i would like to, to point out which is sabrent has some products but all of them are top of the line if you are not looking for top of the line then you will have to search for other brand because sabrent uh, has everything top of the line uh, i will share in a few days my tests on this one right over here this will be something like a replacement of this model or a newer model if you want to um, check it out and this one right over here is the new Thunderbolt 3, which I'm curious to check it out as well, faster and so on and so forth, different, different kinds. Today we are talking about the USB Type-C Dual, this is a big title, enclosure for PCI NVMe M.2 SSDs with online cloning function and active cooling. So it has two functions which are great. Besides the build quality, which is awesome, in terms of active cooling, it's really smart. It has these grills right over here on both sides, and it will. Um, it has also a fan right over here, which pushes air uh, from bottom to top. So it will uh, let the air come in here and then cool down the SSDs, which are right over here, and then push the hot air outside through the top, which is just great. Now that I've opened, not really easy. There is a mechanism right over here, which is these rubbers, which will uh, put our SSDs safe and no vibrations, nothing at all. Everything on top, really, really nice. In terms of the cooling, I will put it to work in just a few moments. So you will not hear the noise, but it's not that silent as one of these units, for example, which is a different target, a different audience. Now the cover is really smart. We don't need screws or anything. We just need to uh, put this piece right over here. It will fit and then it has these small magnets which you just push and there we go. And to open it up, it has this uh, arrow right over here. So dummy proof and we just need to push it and there we go. We open and it's ready to exchange a unit, uh, a SSD or something like that. Now, one of the things that it has besides the active cooling is the clone function, which is awesome. Now, I wouldn't say, hey, purchase this for the clone function, but if you have one of these units, then it will be a multitask device. Besides being used to video editing or something like that, where you have 
your setup and you want a dual SSDs and when we are talking about Sabrent SSDs then we have the best in the market in terms of speeds and quality and so on and so forth. So you just need to decide if this will fit your setup and if it does then you will work with them and if there's a, a day that you need to clone a operating system or any other disk then what we just need to do is to put on the slot A the disk that I want to clone and on the slot B the disk that I want to clone to and then I just need to press this button for about three seconds the button that says clone and then it will start blinking 25 percent 50 75 and then 100 and it will stop and that is it I did test it out with Windows I did clone Windows and it worked just Awesome, so no issues at all. In terms of connectivity, we have the USB Type-C right over here, the power input jack and then a power button. In terms of the content you already saw on the intro, but USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable, which we are going to connect right now. And uh, also the power uh, adapter and uh, the manual, which will have instructions, but honestly, the only thing that I did read was about the clone function. Three seconds and that is it. So very straightforward and basically that is it. So it's a great unit. Let's just uh, check out the speed test right over here. But spoiler alert, if you have seen the test that I made on the Rocket 4 Plus or the Rocket Q, we are talking about drives or SSDs and VME that uh, the Rocket 4 Plus goes above or roughly 7,000 megabytes per second. So here we have a USB Type-C 3.2 connection, which means 10 gigabits of bandwidth and that means 10 gigabits 1000 megabytes per second of transfer speeds which is just awesome and if you ask me hey robert is that enough to edit videos or do anything else yes but we are used to crazy speeds like the one that we have here on the rocket nvme ssd rocket 4 plus and we get bad habits but the enclosure external enclosure the maximum will be uh, 1000 megabytes per second now I'm gonna press the button this just to say that it's quiet but it has a active fan so you will hear it my suggestion is to put it on the setup uh, under the desk or something like that or a little bit just away from your ears and you will be just fine and you can edit videos and so on and so forth without any problems whatsoever now that being said let's go for a speed test because i know that you love speed tests guys so let's just select one of the i've got the rocket q and the rocket 4 plus so it doesn't matter which one we choose because both of them have higher speeds although one has double than the other more or less uh, it's more than enough to bottleneck the connection which is 1000 megabytes per second and we are reaching here 914 which is the maximum that we will get over this connection of course this will work on windows mac os which is what i'm doing right now uh, linux and so forth and so on and so forth so you can uh, use it uh, depending on the operating system that you want you are not limited but this is it guys. so let's stop the um, speed test and if i go to the other disk i was with the rocket plus but if i go to the rocket q and if i start the test here we go 900 9900 sorry and 16 megabytes per second the same that we got with the other one so the bottleneck here is not the ssd is the connection that we have now with the thunderbolt 3 uh, unit which i will bring in just a few days uh, i'm expecting to reach a little bit more of speed but we will talk about that later on and basically this is it i'm going to turn it off and I'm going to disconnect the two cables. And my opinion is that if you are looking for a unit uh, to have dual SSDs that you can work with both at the same time, because we can, uh, we will have a maximum of 500 uh, each, more or less. I wouldn't suggest to do RAID 0, although we can with software, because the SSDs that I've got inside are faster. But if you have a slower SSD, let's say, 500 megabytes per second on each SSD and you can do a RAID 0 on your software either on Windows or Mac OS and you will have the maximum of the enclosure. On my opinion I would suggest to use at least on my workflow and I will use it that way I will use one to edit videos and the other one for a momentarily backup or momentarily storage uh, and then I will offload when I don't have rush to another 
hard drive, a larger capacity hard drive. And that way uh, we have a nice workflow, which is great. And we can do a automatization of all of this. I just finished to edit here, save it right over here. And then I've got a macro that will transfer this at certain time to another hard drive, either on a NAS or something like that, which is just awesome. Now comparing this to this, they are completely different, both great, great pieces of tech one more on the mobile side and one more on the traditional setup side although i can just pick it up put it on the pocket with the power adapter and the cable the only difference is the power adapter and take it anywhere just work with my laptop as i was at home so this will very much depend on the way that we work guys this is it hopefully the video was helpful in some way if you still have any questions any doubts just leave them down below i will answer as best and as fast as i can hope that the video was helpful if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one